Well, good morning once again. It is now October 2nd. We spent uh, a long day yesterday removing planking and these subplanks from the 1946 Garwood Ensign. Down here in this bucket, uh, it was only about half full when we started. All the brass fasteners are there waiting to go to the scrapyard. The results are really quite pleasing because beneath the planking, we found basically a, a boat that is in pretty good shape. This frame member and this frame member right at the very front, right at the bow, will have to be replaced. We can see that at some point in her life, somebody has reinforced the bow with this piece of three quarter inch marine plywood. But the frames, especially in the front half of the boat and the intermediate thinner battens are all in pretty good shape until we get beneath the engine and to the aft end of the boat where there's a fair amount of grease that has worked its way into particularly the battens. So we'll be replacing quite a few of these. But if you remember in the, an earlier video, I think the first one, I pointed out that it appeared that the keel was broken through and through just ahead of the bore for the prop shaft. Well, our worst concerns were born, born out once we had her apart. As you can see, uh, she must have hit the rocks very hard and not only is the keel broken but it has pulled apart so we face a task of pretty much replacing the keel because if you'll sight along it you see that it undulates up and down and up and down and that leads to a deformed outer skin and to poor performance so we will most likely be replacing most of this keel but the next job is to clean all of the framework so that we can be sure what we are working with and begin getting ready to seal it all in clear penetrating epoxy sealer, paint it with a good bilge paint. We usually use Sandusky Chris Craft Red bilge paint. I don't think Mr. Garwood would object. It's excellent, an excellent material. And then we'll begin fitting the first layer, the 1 8 inch Okumi 1088 plywood before we begin cutting planks and replanking her all bedded in 3M5200. So we'll keep you apprised. October 2nd, progress is being made.